Gentlemen, I thank you for coming on Heritage Hip Hop because we love hip hop on our platform and we want to give a voice to all the people out there doing it because people will tell you what's corny or what they don't like. But what people don't do is give everybody an opportunity to shine their own voices and get their talent out. And I think that's, that's trash. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Because um, you got people like Tyler the Creator. Everybody say he's whack, but he got a big fan base. Mm -hmm. You got the um, Flatbush Zombies. People say he's whack, they got a fan base. I don't want anybody on my channel to be called whack. I want to give everybody equal opportunity to sh to know that their talent is appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like the game is big enough too now. Mm -hmm. Hip hop has become like a um, we used to call hip hop a genre, but I've literally like for the past few years I've been trying to come up with like a different term for it. First it was religion, but it was like no, because there's not religions under religions unless you got like Christianity, like Methodist, and all that type of stuff, like, whatever. But besides the point. Hip hop is like it has genres within the genre, so it's like, what do we call it now? You know what I'm saying? Some genre, some you know. But I feel like it needs to be labeled too, you know, because um, this wrong expectation being put on wrong things because yeah, it's, it's like you know, like like you can't call pump hip hop. You know what I'm saying? They call Joey Bad hip hop, or you know what I'm saying? It's right. just it's just so many lanes now. It's like you gotta defer what's an MC and what's an entertainer because they make it clear from the gate that yo, I ain't a rapper. Because tell me how many times you done seen, like I said, a Pump or Takashi mm -hmm. or Uzi go on a, 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 a sway in the morning and be, and be kicking bars and all that, doing bars of death and all that. None of that is happening, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's to lower the expectations from the rip so they don't have to live up to something. Yeah, or exactly if they're just being blunt, like, yo, I'm an entertainer, I just want to make good music. Cause I feel that too. You know what I'm saying? So the game is That's so big now. The same, yeah, the game is so big now, it's cool. Like every everybody can eat in, in some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Well we want y'all to eat. Cause we want out the mud to get as large. I would like to see y'all get large like the high rules. Something like that. No, I mean, I appreciate that bro. Not, not, not because y'all home team or because of affiliations, because look man, everybody get a chance to win. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, and I would right. like to see everybody get to do whatever they want to do with the music. Some people right. start their music going to acting. Some people start music going to fashion. Some True. people start music going to being authors or politicians. Right. So why not you? Right. So I mean, once again, introduce yourself to everybody, starting from the left, and give them your social media as well. Yeah, man. Um, it's your boy Sam Ross came again, yo. Artist slash producer slash graphic slash everything slash like <laughs> slash etc. Man, yo, you can highlight me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Bandcamp, SoundCloud, it's all the same name. S A M underscore R O T H S K double E M. Holla at me. Yeah, um, Shaco Bang, man. Um, MC, uh, father, father, uh, brother, confidant, uh, counselor to myself and others. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm currently temporary engineer for the squad. You know, all songs you hear released and Mixing all that me, you know what I'm saying? My man Sife, shout out to Grim Sife. Um, yeah, uh, you can follow me on all social media platforms, all streaming platforms, Shaco Bang. S H O T K O B A N G. All right. Shice the ruler in the building, ODM representative. I'm the I'm the guy that's going to win when they mostly going to want to say, fuck you because you need to be said, fuck you too. But if they don't feel like it, that's only because they don't feel like it. I will tell them. I will tell you. Fuck them. Hey, fuck y'all. So I mean, that's my role in the group. I'm a battler. I, I body. I, 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 I'm saying I body the competition. That's my job, and I do my job well. Social media. The social media is uh, killem.com. I mean, um, <laughs> uh, uh, Shice the Ruler. You know what I'm saying? At Instagram. S H I E. Don't put the I. I mean, don't put the E before the I. That's not nice. I don't like that shit. Shice the ruler, S H I E S T dot D A dot R U L L A. Get it right, and everybody have a nice day. All right. Uh, you follow that now, nah, but um, Frank Castle, <laughs> songwriter, artist, um, yeah, man. man. Yeah, businessman. We, we we doing everything over here, man. We doing all Call that shit. Another slash. You know what I mean? We doing everything to just like. Like, remember what 50 was saying? G and everything, we trying to ODM everything. You know what I'm saying? Books, all that. But you can find me at um, D underscore Frank Castle on Instagram. And for bookings or anything like that, Castle Vision 45 at Gmail. All right. Crystal Metal, producer ODM. Find me on 
Instagram at Crystal Metal, Facebook, same thing. All right, man. Look, man, it's a pleasure because at the end of the day, hip hop is bigger than expectations. Hip hop is an experience. And life is the biggest teacher that a man or woman can have because it's all about experience. So let's take them out on the high. Five questions. Anybody can answer them. I mean, it's a lot of y'all, so let's take a little bit of time. But five questions. Here we go. Greatest hip hop group of all time outside of yourself is. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Rough Riders. Wu Tang. Wu Tang. Best producer in hip hop history. Mm. <laughs> Damn. Nah, this, this is good. This is Knife Wonder. J W. Damn, yo. That gonna be mad at my days. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Honestly, I don't think he's gonna say he rap music. Tell my friend. Nah, I don't even wanna say he rap music. You said you made him free. Hey, yo, hold on, hold on. That sounds so damn was lit, though. No, 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 legit, let's go. No, stop. What did we trade? We got, we got. Nah, uh, I gotta say Timberland. Okay. Where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timberland? Kanye. Kanye, okay. Alchemist. Alchemist, okay. Question number three. Question number three. Best hip hop song you ever heard? So much trouble in the world, nigga. Everybody feel your pain. That's a hard one. I can't do that. Yeah, that's a real Damn. Thing. I'm, I'm gonna name the first yeah. one. This shit, right out with tonight's night by Redman. Okay. Fire. Um, this prop. I don't know, but this is literally the first one that came into my head. Now it's one mic. Okay. <sighs> Y'all gonna be mad at me. But, you say nah, Akinelli, I swear to God, I'm sorry, nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dead ass, y'all gonna laugh at me, but my favorite, I can say my favorite hip hop song ever. Y'all know Luda, my man is. What? 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 Nah, man. Move, bitch. <laughs> nah, man. What? Every Who's? Every Who's? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, bro, that's my nah, shit. I rule the world. Nah, how's I rule the world? Uh, uh, Red Man Creepin'. Red Man Creepin'. See, it's well okay. the bricks at the sun down. Creepin' okay. on you. Creepin' on you. <laughs> creepin on you. Right. Next question. What MC changed your life? Damn. In what way? That's up to you. Oh, that's, Damn. That's a lot of things, what man. What MC changed your life? That's a lot of things, What MC man. changed my life? Yeah. That's a lot of things, man. I gotta say it's Rakim. Yeah. Yeah. Rakim changed my life, yo. Like, it's, it's, it's whole style, it's vertebrae, like, yeah. I really followed that. Like I was able to grow up and actually see like that process. Even being young, I was able to like appreciate it more than ever, man. Like can I say more than one person? Nope. Nope. Damn. Okay. Just give me an MC that changed the era. X. 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 Yeah, because yeah. 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 like, I grew up in a sensitive era. Like you know, I remember, I was born '89, bro. So I cling to rap early. So. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I love night like '90s and '80s, '70s, any anything. I'm just I love the pure art of this shit. But I was a fucking freshman when they was banning the Snowman. You know what I'm saying? So I literally done. I grew up in both eras of this shit. So okay, it's so like you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I I, I had to say X because because I was more of an R&B fan before X. Like you know what I'm saying? Okay. I love rap and you know. Next. Art. Okay. No, it's like that's a hard question because it's. Look, I'm in the, the point. I'm in the same boat as him. Like it's that's like. What I'm saying I got different ones. Bro. Like and it's not even just that. It's like different different artists change my life through different different times. Different times. Like no, 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 that's, that's the point. That's why. Was, who was the first? You got to pick the first. Uh, pick the, the one that's most meaningful to you. Yeah, that, yeah, that's wow. one. You said artists, right? Just like MC. artists. One MC. Oh, I was about to go all that. I say, my bird of flat. Yeah, he's an artist. Who's your bouncer? Come on, get to it. No, no, no. Oh, um, I got to see X then, man. X, okay, next. I got to see X, but first, 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 first man. It's because he was the first Nas. ever hip hop album I got. Coming from a producer? Yeah, he's a fun test. That's kind of a hard question. I mean, it's one person that comes to mind. You can't be wrong. I mean, it's just you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Wait till you get to the last question. I mean, I grew up. Uh, I had to go. 
I, I listen to 50 a lot, so I'm not. All right, so 50. That's fine. Look, 50. All legends. Like, you can't yeah, go wrong. 50 is a legit milestone. Okay. This is the last question. And then we're going to close this out. When did you find out that you were hip hop? What you mean? I mean, what, what, I mean, like coming from like what type of angle are you? Like? Well, your angle, because you can only define what hip hop is to you. So when did you realize that you were hip hop? Yo, I, I probably found out when I was hip hop when um, growing up with my mom and um, like how she used to put on like all the old like vinyl records and everything. So basically like all that sampling and everything from hearing like, you know, Cold Crush or whatever, everybody, Furious Five, all of them, like they was all kind of like using that same style, like using the beat patterns and everything. And like my mom's played that music so much around me. It was like, it just gravitated to that. Like I wasn't really like the type to really like listen to rap too much as being young because my mom didn't want me like listen to like the, the verbal intercourse of it, but I still found a way anyway. So like basically, yo, I got, I got to say my mom's really like, really, like really blessed me in the hip hop. Like even though she doesn't listen to that period, but like Motown and all of that, that breeded that. So that's where it's like, it was kind of like born with me as a trait from just watching it so early at an age. It just, it just developed with me. Okay. When did you realize you were hip hop? Oh, I want to say when I first time I heard Nas, I was that. Nas is like, Free the Mitchell clips and certain babies being born, same time as man murdered the beginning and the end, as far as rap. Yo, I don't know what it was. It was just one day, like, I, I, it literally was like, I don't know, like one day, like it just clicked in me. It was like, damn, like that was the day I started learning like who had it and who didn't, you know? Cause as a kid, you just listen to whatever's in the house. You know what I'm saying? Whatever my moms are playing, you know? So my moms had me young, so it was like all 90s rap, like bumping in the house. My grandmother played the old school. So like I heard that them bars and I'm like, yo, what? Like, I'm like nine, 10, but it was like blowing my mind to hear that. Like, it was like, yo, what the, like, this is crazy. Like, I'm 10, but I'm getting it though. Yeah. And then like, I got to a point, like I started waiting for it to come on on the radio. And I was like, it took me like a whole day to write the whole song out. Cause I had to, I ain't know how to make tapes. So yeah, I had to write yeah, the words out as he going. I yeah, gotta remember yeah, what he's yeah. saying. So I couldn't rap, write as fast yeah. as he's spitting. Mm -hmm. And it took me like a whole day to write the whole song out. And I, I kept memorizing lyrics just so I could rap the whole song. And I knew it was a rap after that. Nah, I was at the him anything. It was like, damn, I knew who, who was nice and who wasn't. Next, right how did you know you were hip hop? I knew I was hip hop. It's just, it's a, it was two different times. One, well, three different times. One was growing up with my uncle. Like my uncle raised me. That's like my that's like my father. Shout out to Capo. Shout out to Capo. Capo. You know DTs, DTs, diligent thugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? And even uh, even my and my big cousin too. Uh, my big cousin Platt. You know what I mean? Like being around. Shout out to Billboard P. Yeah, right? Billboard P. My fault. Billboard P. You know what I mean? Being around like being around them, being raised in the studio, I learned how to start pinning my own stuff. And then like it was a time when I was like 11, I battled. Like I had to literally battle with some this dude that was like 25. And he came from my net like, and when I toasted this and like I'm talking about he got brought to me talking shit. Like he was about to, you know what I mean? Like like yo, I got something. You think you fly a little nigga? I got somebody that'll kill you. Okay, you know what I mean? Roasted him, and that's when I realized like yo, I'm hip hop. And then too was when I actually I got one laugh at me. I heard a uh, I heard I can't remember the exact song, but I heard like a rap. I heard like Japanese rap. On some like anime type shit. Like I told you, I'm a I'm a nerd. Like you know what I'm saying, I'm the toughest nerd you'll ever see. Like so, it's like I seen them rapping on anime, and I started I'm like, yo, I don't gotta not know me. Gotta be cool guy or not me. I could be who the hell I am and kick flavor and it, and it'll work. And that's when I realized I was hip hop. Okay. Uh, I actually had a project that we we had to do about hip hop with like how hip hop impacted, um, I guess Ooh, like school, culture. Went to, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I, had a, I had a black teacher for like after um, um, the history. And he told us and he told us to do that type of um project. And I wrote a verse for the act for the project. And ever since then I already knew what it was. Like I, I was trapped. It was a Okay, finally. I mean I started growing up 
listening to hip hop when, uh, when I was younger. From my older brother, he used to bump. He used to bump a lot of bone thugs. Shout, shout out to Sam. Sam. Well, shout out to Sam. Say, 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 say Samuel. He used to bump a lot of bone Sam. thugs. He used to bump everything. That's Eminem, the spirit you got. Nas, Wu Tang a lot. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't. Maybe hearing the shit right now. So hip hop is bigger than beats and rhymes, y'all. It's experience. It's life. And it's the soul that comes out of the body. So, Emotion, passion, everybody out there, y'all want that real hip hop? You want to experience life? You want to experience a movement? Out the mud music group. Yo, we out of here, y'all. Peace. No, keep it muddy. <laughs> ODM. Scan. Yo. Focus on the whole nother output Niggas looking in while my squad on the outlook Your mouth shook when I gave in the southpaw Don't fuck around or my niggas reroute y'all No map, get burned with the strap now That's the real facts, I return to the Mac I'm uh, still blowing these flames But knowing my name, y'all niggas better know how to aim Y'all show you the game without being thrown in the frame On tracks, on thoughts, on the side of the train Bring a pain, no method to cream out, I'll beam out